One progressive candidate scored a Senator Bernie Sanders endorsement, a former Detroit Health Department. I'm Dr. Abdul El Sayed. I'm running for governor in the great state of Michigan. Uh, we believe in a Michigan that's more just, more equitable, more sustainable. Who are you? How do you describe yourself? What do you do? Who am I? Pulitzer Prize winner, author, shit show. The country's collapsing, the ratings are great. And, yeah, and it's not. If you're following El, El Sayed, he's a piece of a movement, right? Which is the Democratic Party is going to have to splinter. Abdul El Sayed. Show us where we're going. We were here, now we're going here, and then we're going to end up the day in Detroit. <laughs> all in the palm of our hands. Are you all signed in? Why don't you think it's science time? It's not his time because nobody ever heard of him. The country is not far left. The country is pretty much straight down the middle. We're regular people looking for a future who don't like our government almost at any level. My name's Trey. Lisa Passberg. J-A-M-E-S. My name is Tom Young, and I refinish antique bathtubs. That's cool. We're sick of having to just pick the lesser of two evils. Yeah. Done with it. It's a very important election. I also think Democrats need to get their stuff together and listen to their base more. I won't vote for somebody I don't believe in. They haven't been looking for young candidates. I don't believe in just a blanket support of the Democrat because they're not a Republican. I want somebody who actually is going to do something to make positive change for the majority of people in the state. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. over corporate domination. Let me hear you. Two years of saying this country won't vote for Medicare for all. Two years of people saying tuition-free college well, is not supported even in the state of New York. But we prove all of it wrong. That is the future of this party. That is the future of this nation. That is the future of this movement. The progressive movement, or even the Tea Party movement, right, is we're trying to get somewhere, and the way to get there, we don't agree on. We just know that this, everybody knows this is shit. And this is what I think Michigan votes on, I think this is what Pennsylvania votes on, I think this is what Texas and California and New York and, and Florida, sure there's identity politics, but if the left can deliver that, we'll take it. Looks like I'm looking down yeah, at you. Yeah, that's fine. That works. Yeah. Let's slide Let's down. Let's slide Let's slide Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. How are you feeling? I feel great. People will point to the polls and say, we should look at the polls. Why you do know, you think the polls are I'll admit, are? I am not winning among people who still answer landlines in the middle of the day. I'm not winning those folks. Um, <laughs> the problem is that most people don't answer landlines in the middle of the day. You know, I've never been one uh, who gives up on um, doing the work for people. And so we're building our movement. And I think we're going to win. And if for whatever okay, reason thanks. you don't win the primary, will you support whoever is the Democratic nominee for government? I will support a Democrat uh, if they win in the primary. So see what? that? See the city building there? Yep. That's downtown. That building marks midtown. This stretch that you can see with your naked eye is the comeback. And this is where they say the miracle's happening, but there are human beings two miles that way and two miles that way, and they don't feel a goddamn thing. So what is this about? Who's talking to them then? Not even the socialists. Socialists. Not even the socialists. Do people care what's going on in New York?